In the last days, everyone is talking about chat GPT. And it's true, it's quite good when you want to generate a text. However, there are some things that it's not as good for. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a combination of network visualization and GPT-3 to produce much more interesting results. Specifically, how you can detect blind spots or structural gaps in your ideas or any texts that you're analyzing and use GPT-3 to produce highly relevant facts and research questions that can help you develop your discourse further. Here's how it works. So just for an example, I put in a text that I wrote about Vipassana meditation into ChatGPT Playground and it provided quite a good summary of this text. So that works pretty well. However, when I ask it, what am I missing? How can I develop these ideas further? Uh, it says that basically, you know, um, I've reached the end, it's perfect. I can try again. Let's see. Learn more about specific techniques and practices. Okay, but here it's repeating exactly what I said. Uh, it's just rephrasing what I've written already and I wrote about scientific research. So you see it kind of starts going in loops based on what I provided. It doesn't really know where to look for the new information. This is where network visualization of text comes into play. Here I'm using the tool called InfraNodus that we developed at Nodus Labs and it's a visualization of exactly the same text. It provides us with uh, the main topical clusters that it identifies, so the main topics which are present inside the text and what it's talking about, so it's great to get an overview. Here we see that I'm talking about sensations and feelings, vipassana meditation, physical pain and stress, attention and mind. There are more topics here, equanimity feedback, feedback loops and body scan. Okay, so inside Infranodus there is already a feature that allows you to find the gaps and to generate insights using GPT-3 that would bridge those gaps. The way it works is that uh, it looks at two clusters that exist in the text, so two topics or two clusters of words that are distinct from one another that are already used in this text but that are not yet connected. And then it finds the structural gap and proposes us to generate uh, a question using GPT-3 that would bridge those gaps. So I click this blue button here and the helper here uh, proposes me an interesting research question that I could use to develop this discourse further. What is the relationship between attention, pattern and mind? Okay, interesting, so something about pattern recognition, maybe making patterns uh, and how they can be reinforced with attention. Or another question, how does the constant mind process affect the result of physical cravings and pain? So something about maybe thinking and uh, cognitive processes and how they affect physical sensations. Is there a link between physical activity and attentional focus? So really interesting questions actually. And the great thing is that in this case, GPT-3 is not thinking for you, but it's thinking with you. It's providing you with some interesting research questions that you can answer here using this editor and develop this discourse further. You can also, of course, generate uh, facts. So if you don't want questions or you feel a little bit lazy answering those questions, you can just click facts and it's going to generate some facts which are kind of answers to the potential questions that might arise that bridge the structural gap between these two topics. So, for instance, here it says a recent study found that people who are more mindful of their surrounding tend to be more physically active. Okay, people who exercise regularly tend to have more regular patterns of sleep and wakefulness, so some relation between exercise and uh, attention, wakefulness and awareness. And here, results of studies show that people who are more physically fit tend to have less pain and stress during their experiences. Okay, so basically, you see, we can generate facts and research questions that would bridge the blind gaps, uh, the blind spots that exist inside our text. And this is great because we're kind of harnessing the power of AI here, but instead of having it do the job for us and generate some generic text about a certain topic, we're actually using its capacities to produce uh, well-formed English language sentences, by the way it also works in other languages, to help us think further and develop the 
periphery of this discourse to bridge the gaps that exist inside. I invite you to try it out on infranodos.com. I will leave the link to this video. And if you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to answer. Thank you.